Netgear's product lines are robust, but how well does each one perform? Today, we're looking at the Netgear Nighthawk RAXE 300 a tri-band Wi-Fi 6E router that promises fast speeds, wide coverage, and high-end performance. But with a $400 price tag, is it worth the investment? I'm Melanie, broadband expert at Broadband Now. In this video, we're taking a closer look at the Netgear Nighthawk RAXE 300. If you're looking for a new router, keep on watching this video. Right out of the box, the design of the RAXE 300 is unique. Now, let's break down the numbers. The RAXE 300 is a Wi-Fi 6E router, meaning it operates on three bands. You can theoretically hit combined speeds of up to 7.8 gigabits per second. It also comes with a 2.5 gigabit per second ethernet port. It covers approximately 2,500 square feet, edging ahead of the Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro. Sounds good, right? Well, here's the catch. It's 2025 and this router still doesn't have Wi-Fi 7. For $400 on Amazon, that's a pretty steep price, but we've seen it go down from time to time, so definitely snag the deep discount if it's still available. Setting this thing up was, mm, let's say a bit of a mixed bag. Once I got past that though, it took about 10 minutes to get everything running. Compared to routers from TP-Link and Asus, this process felt a little bit sluggish. Now, let's talk about the Netgear Nighthawk app. If you're someone who just wants to set up a router and never touch it again, it's fine. But if you're like me and want advanced controls, you are out of luck here. All right, now for the real test. How fast is the RAXE 300? Standing right next to the router, download speeds clocked at 800 megabits per second, which is great. But the moment the router moved about 15 feet away with two walls in between, speeds took a nosedive. By the time we got downstairs, speeds were struggling to hit 100 megabits per second. <laughs> but the real problem, this router does not like a busy network. We streamed a soccer game while downloading games on Steam Deck, and even at just five feet away, speeds tanked to around 150 megabits per second. At 15 feet and downstairs, practically unusable. So, how does it stack up against the competition? Honestly, not great. So, should you buy the Netgear Nighthawk RAXE 300? Honestly, unless you need a tri-band router that can handle a ton of devices at once, I'd say no. The lack of Wi-Fi 7 at this price point is a deal breaker, and the app experience is frustrating. If you need something future-proof and high performance, you have better options. For smart homes gamers or people who need consistent high speeds, look elsewhere.